4.8 liter versus 5.3 liter NA and supercharge. This is how you make more power. Wah! Hey, what are you guys doing here? I'm Richard Holder of this West Tech Performance. I'm supposed to be here. I'm actually doing some dyno testing. So let's find out what's up. Uh, yes, once again, I am at West Tech Performance. I know it doesn't really look like it, but I was at West Tech Performance. And today we're gonna take a look at a comparison between a 4.8 liter and a much more powerful 5.3 liter. Both of them run with the same Gen 5 M90 supercharger from a 3800 V6. And we're applying it to a couple of obviously larger and more powerful V8s. And that's exactly what this video is all about. We want to find out what happens when we prove the power output of the naturally aspirated motor and how that equates to power under boost. The 4.8 liter test motor started out as a junkyard LR4. It was originally equipped with 706 heads a truck intake manifold and the factory camshaft, but in its final configuration, because we ran it with a number of different configurations, it featured 799 heads with a valve spring upgrade. We had a Brian Tooley Racing hot rod cam and then installed the Holley High Ram with a 102 millimeter throttle body. Once everything was on, we were ready to test. Our test motor started out life as an all aluminum L33 5.3 liter. The junkyard L33 was upgraded with a Brian Tooley Racing Stage 4 LS3 cam. Additional mods included a set of TrickFlow 220 ASCAST heads that the guys from Brian Tooley Racing did their once over on, included milling, full porting, and an extreme RPM valve spring upgrade. Both the high ram and low ram were run with a set of inch and seven eighths long tube headers feeding collector extensions and mufflers. Running E85, the 80 pound injectors were tuned using a Holly HP management system. Okay, let's go out and make a pull with the Holly high ram. Whoa. <laughs> camera shake. We had camera shake. Speed wobbles. Set our camera up here. And voila. Now it's time for the blower. So let's take the high ram lid off and then we'll replace it with the M90. Start off with our adapter plate. Add the intercooler and we're ready to rock. Okay guys, here it is our comparison between, we wanna really show what happens when you take our junkyard Gen 5 M90 supercharger that we originally got from a 
3800 V6 and run it on two larger, more powerful V8 combinations. One of them a modified 4.8 liter and the other one a modified 4.5.3 liter. And we're not doing this as a direct comparison with the same parts on the 4.8 and the same parts on the 5.3. What we're trying to show is this is what happens when you take a supercharger and run it basically at the same blower speed but run it on two different combinations, one making much more NA power than the other one. We could have just as easily done this on a six liter or something else, but this was a fairly small blower, but we wanted to show what it was capable of by adding power to our NA combination. So this is our 4.8 liter. And in this configuration, we ran it with a number of different configurations. The 4.8 liter was uh, an LR4 from the wrecking yard. It had the 706 heads on it. It did have a camshaft upgrade and an intake manifold upgrade on it. The camshaft was a Brian Truly Racing Truck Norris NSR, no springs required, and we did not have a valve spring upgrade on the 706 heads. We also had a Holly High Ram, and this was used as the baseline before we put the Eaton Supercharger on there. But run in this configuration with a set of inch and seven eighths long tube headers and mufflers and the Holly uh, HP management system and 80 pound injectors. Our combination produced 411 horsepower and 355 foot pounds of torque. And here is the configuration that our 5.3 liter was running. And you can see, I'm going to go ahead and move myself up here to get out of the way of the numbers here. But our 5.3 liter was equipped also with a Holly High Ram with a Brian Tooley Racing Stage 4 uh, LS3 camshaft, so a much, much bigger camshaft. It also had a set of ported heads and a set of ported and milled TrickFlow 220 heads that had been, they were an as cast head originally, but the guys at Brian Tooley Racing went through and ported them. They also milled them 30,000. So the 5.3, and it was originally an L33, so it also had flat top pistons like the 4.8, run with the same headers. This combination produced quite a bit more power, 545 horsepower, and peak torque was up at 428 foot-pounds. So, you know, what we would expect from a 5.3 liter, basically it made more power everywhere than the smaller 4.8 liter. It also, because of the bigger camshaft and ported heads, made peak power at a higher engine speed. We ran that thing all the way out to 75 or 7,600 RPM, and it did well. We also ran that combination with the Brian Tooley Racing uh, Trinity intake manifold that made a little bit more power at a little bit of higher RPM owing to its shorter runners. You guys can take a look at that. But these are, these are the NA combinations, so we can kind of compare the 4.8 and 5.3. We also made a camshaft change on the 4.8, but we didn't do that until after we added the supercharger. But these are the NA combinations. So we're looking at a difference of 411 horsepower versus 545 horsepower. So now let's see what happens when we add the blow. Okay, we've taken a look at our naturally aspirated combination. So now let's take a look and see what happens when we added our Gen 5 M90 supercharger to it. And we did make some changes to the to the blower and actually to the configurations too. But <laughs> feel free to make comments about all of this. So our four point this is our 4.8 liter. And this is what happened. We ran the Gen 5 supercharger on there. We equipped it with a 2.6 inch blower pulley. And we had this stock 7.5 inch roughly um, LS truck dampener on it so we were running this thing over 18,500 rpm at our shutoff point of 6600 this thing made between you know around 9 9.2 9.3 pounds of peak boost and this was actually run with not with the truck norris cam but actually with a slightly bigger hot rod cam and also we had made modifications to 799 heads that had a valve spring upgrade on them, although the 799 heads didn't gain any power over the 706 heads. We also did some a radius entry on the blower and then a larger throttle body on this rather than using the stock uh, Gen 5 throttle body on it. We put an LS throttle body on it, but equipped as such, our combination produced 537 horsepower and 490 foot-pounds of torque. And for those guys that are interested, here is the difference between, I'll go ahead and move myself down out of the way here. Here's the difference between our NA combination, our NA 4.8 liter and the supercharged 4.8 liter. So it picked up a fairly good bit of power, 411 horsepower to 537 horsepower. Pretty good for the little supercharger. But let's take a look now and we'll see what happened when we added the same supercharger to our 5.3 liter and you can see our power is up just like it was up na it's also up supercharged we ran a peak of 614 horsepower 
and peak torque was on the 5.3, it was up to 547 horsepower. You'll notice in the photos that we also added an intercooler from the guys at um, Tick Performance. We didn't really do it justice because the discharge of the blower was basically over a small portion of the intercooler. We didn't have enough room between my adapter plate and, and the intercooler to actually, to actually allow the airflow to go through the whole core. So I think we were kind of restricting things. In fact, the boost was dro dropped down to about started out at six pounds and dropped down to four pounds um, with the intercooler combination. So I think we were kind of limiting flow with the way the way the discharge was oriented. We're going to revisit that. We also made more of an improvement to the inlet side, put a 92 millimeter throttle body, did some radius awning it, uh, and, and some milling actually on the inside of us. Now we have since, we're going to now have sent the blower off to the guys at Jokers and we're going to be running that as well, but not on this combination. We also on the 5.3 had a much bigger camshaft in it. We had those ported heads. It was a bigger motor to begin with so as you can see we were making a lot more power because we started out with a lot more power naturally aspirated and subsequently we made more power with the same blower let me know in the comments what you think is this the best way to get more power just make the na power more you know make the na combination more and more powerful let me know what you guys think but i'm richard holder please make sure to like share subscribe ring the bell do all that stuff and it's coming up on the end of 2023 but don't worry coming up in 2024, I'll keep testing.